Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about Christine Brown and Cody Brown, their son, Peyton Brown. Now he hasn't been in the show, on the show, in quite some time, um, but he's kind of re-emerged on TikTok. He's pretty big on TikTok. He's got a decent following and uh, he posts videos all the time. Sometimes it's talking about the show, sometimes it's just talking about his life in general. He's talked about, you know, the altercation that went on between him and his sister Gwen. Well, he very recently uploaded a video where he talks about how he was robbed at his gym. Now, it sounds a little bit more scarier than what it was. Even the headlines are like, Peyton Brown was robbed. I'm thinking like robbed at gunpoint or something like that. Um, thank God that is not what happened. He was not robbed at gunpoint or anything. He went into the gym. He put his wallet and everything in his bag, put his bags in a locker in the gym and, you know, went and worked out. After he got done, he went and got his bag out of the locker, went to his car, and after getting to his car, realized that the money that was in his wallet was no longer there. So, on this TikTok, he said, I put all my stuff in the same gym bag. I put it in a locker. I go to the gym. I go back to the locker room, grab my bag, get my car. It's just another day. There's nothing special about this day except I pick up my wallet and it's empty. He said the cash was gone, but other than that, everything else was still there. It was still accounted for, which he was thankful for. He said it could have been worse. And, you know, this is his wallet, which I imagine possible social security card, you know, ID, maybe credit cards, maybe debit cards if he has bank accounts or credit cards. Um, so they could have taken a lot more, but the person um, seemed to take about a hundred dollars out of Peyton Brown's wallet, which still like Peyton Brown said, it's a hundred dollars. That was his. So it sucks. It wasn't the best day for him. He said, all my cash have been taken. Everything else is there. So it could have been a lot worse. I'm happy that not everything is gone, but I'm really annoyed. It was maybe like a hundred bucks. That was a hundred bucks that was in my wallet that is now gone. Um, now Peyton didn't really go into if he was going to you know, contact the police or make a report about the stolen money, but I feel like he should. In the comment section, there were people talking about the possibility of cameras inside the gym, which I think is a good idea. And he did like those comments, which makes me believe that maybe he's going to look into that. If he's not going to go to the police station, file a report, at least go back to the gym and say, this is what happened and ask if there's any way they could at least see who went in that locker room. Um, from the time like after he went in there and left his stuff there till he went back because that would at least narrow it down as to who possibly stole his money. You know, when you go to a gym, you usually have to have a gym membership. So that could be something that maybe they could handle, maybe watch the footage, see how many people went in there. If it's, you know, three or four, pull those three or four guys, talk to them, find out if they know anything and just let them know like, hey, if we can't figure out who took the money, he's going to turn this over to the police. And then we got to turn in the footage. Do something. I hope he doesn't let this go because if he does, the person is not going to get caught and they'll just continue to do it to someone else. So I hope he does file the report. I hope he speaks with Jim and they can figure out who did this because I cannot stand a thief. There's one thing I cannot stand is a thief. He is in the military. He's making an honest living for himself. And that was his money. He's going to the gym and then it gets stolen from him. That, that's terrible. Now, Peyton is an active TikTok user. He, like I said, he regularly posts about his family, about the show. Recently, also on Monday, he uploaded a TikTok where he said he does not really watch the show, but he still enjoys seeing clips uh, from time to time about his family. He says sometimes clips will pop up on his feed and he can see, you know, his mom and his dad and, you know, uh, things that was going on back when they were filming and stuff like that or even he says years ago which is really nice it's really cool that he can if he wants you know just get on the computer and look up years of his family and watch it if he wants to which he says that he does it he recently um put up another video where he explained why he stopped watching uh sister wives and he said he stopped watching it after um he did not like seeing himself. Um, he says he was not okay with the way that he looked, which is why now he is so driven to be in really good shape. And now he's like, I'm really good looking and I'm handsome and I work out and, you know, I'm going to continue to better myself. But he talks about how, um, on the show, you know, 
everybody goes through that chubby stage. And I guess maybe when he was in that stage, it kind of hit him hard. And also he talks about when they moved, he went through a depression. So he stopped watching himself on the show and he just, uh, you know, decided that he was going to do better for himself. Go to the gym. You know, he has a job where he has to be very active. Um, but yeah, anyways, his TikToks can be very interesting. If you guys do not follow him on TikTok, you really should because like I said, he covers the show sometimes. He talks about his relationships with his family members. He talks about Robin at times. I mean, sometimes he just kind of gives you, uh, just updates on what's going on in his life. But most recent update is that he was robbed while at the gym, which is terrible. You guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. If anything else comes from this, if he goes to the police or if he puts up another TikTok where he gives any more information as to if he went to the police, if he's figured out who stole this money, I'll hop on here and I'll let you guys know. But in the meantime, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Sometimes YouTube will unsubscribe people. So just double check down there if you don't mind. Give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.